Hicks photographed departing Air Force One on September 29, by Nicholas Camp Getty Images. For the longest-serving non-blood-related aide to Donald Trump, you don't hear too much about Hope Hicks. A few features about the White House communications director came out before the election New York Times, GQ, Marie Claire when she was still the campaign press secretary. They each characterized her as a quiet 27- or 28-year-old confidant to the thank candidate, known for being one of the only people in his orbit to success he cede the spotlight entirely to her boss. Even after Hicks took over as communications director in September in the post-Anthony Scaramucci era, she remained as quiet as he was bombastic and as likely to keep to herself as he was to pick up the phone in the middle of the night and call a New Yorker reporter. Which is likely how she managed to remain out of the public eye almost entirely, until now. Aside from her promotion, the main thing that burst her bubble of semi-anonymity was clothes, and specifically the ones SHES chosen for the president's recent tour of Asia. She wore a tuxedo to the state dinner in Japan last week paired with a blowout and pink lipstick. It resulted in a freeze frame, who is that from the tweeting public and tabloids alike. Even if they were familiar with Hope Hicks before, they weren't familiar with this Hope Hicks. The masculine look ran counter to her usual wardrobe fare, that is, the feminine tailor's style that DC's officered willing women must wear. It was odd. It upstaged Melania since then. Publications normally devoted to the looks of Ivanka and Melania are following her every sartorial move. Like every pet personality tales by tabloids, Hicks is making headlines even when SHES wearing nothing remarkable. SHE's the star of this little universe spun up by a Daily Mail headline from November 8th Hope Hicks stuns in a grey sweater as she sits with Melania and Jared Kushner at South Korea National Assembly, while a tired-looking Ivanka leaves home clutching a large coffee 7,000 miles away. Soon after that, SHES letting the first lady shine not a compliment, and later SHES a vision in Florals Hollywood Life, too, speaks breathlessly about her style. Move over, Melania Trump, the tabloid instructs. Hope Hicks relegated a baggy shirt ponytail after upstaging Melania Trump, another headline analyzes. The newfound attention comes at another odd time. Whether or not tabloid editors are sensing a growing importance or simply recognizing that the women of the Trump administration are good for business, special counsel Robert Mueller will soon interview Hicks as part of the Russia investigation. It's an interesting time to one who is seen and not heard in Trump world. Get Vanity Fair's Cocktail Hour or Essential Brief on Culture, the News, and more. And it's on the house.